What a rat's nest. Okay, so I didn't film removing the cylinder, but uh, as you can see, the cables are drooping down. You can kind of see underneath. That's where the cylinder goes. One end right there. It's got a pin. Got a little hanger that kind of holds it up. And then it hooks up with another pulley here on this larger cable that pulls on the four cables here that lift the four posts, four cables. So it lifts the lift up. So we'll come over here. There's the cylinder removed. Now this is a single action cylinder. So if you look right here, we've got one input or one hydraulic line hook connection and it pushes the cylinder only one way. And then it allows gravity and weight and all that to, uh, I guess in this case, extend it. So what you, what you end up doing is right here is your pressure comes in pushes down on a piston, forces this cylinder toward the bottom here, or in this case, looking down. Yeah, down there. And so, yeah, so it's bypassing. So what ends up happening is that instead of the pressure staying between here and the seal, which is somewhere in here, it's going bypassing the seal and going right out to the bottom. And if you see in the tray there, there's hydraulic fluid. So we're going to rebuild that today and see if we can um, fix fixed the Gray Hair Garage official lift, <laughs> I guess you could say. But yeah, something I've never done before, but uh, it's pretty simple. It's, it's not too much. You just got to pay attention. Cleanliness is... Uh, your friend uh, make sure there's no scoring or any problems with the cylinder we'll, we'll get into it in a minute once we get it apart and the device got it supported uh, took me a little bit of time but I had an old uh, let's see what we, this is an old winch mount to go on a ATV or something I had laying around and two of the holes had to line up perfect so I had to make a little cut drill one hole put some bolts through welded them on and if you see here on the end you've got to take this uh, retainer out and i'm sure it's got a couple of seals on it and i know it's got one here on the but i'm sure there's a seal on the outside uh but anyway made a quick tool it's don't let i guess laugh look at those crappy wells but i was squatting down trying to hold everything i didn't want to get my welder out of the corner over there and go through a big bunch of hoo-ha just to make a quick tool just to do the job probably one time in my lifetime so don't laugh at them let's see if we can get this thing apart <laughs> Okay, so we're learning here uh, something I didn't I didn't know or I've never had one of these apart but there's no threads usually these these ends these retainers at the end of the cylinder have threads and they thread into the housing and lock it in in this case this one doesn't look like it has any uh, kind of unusual not a big deal uh, you know it's worked so um, Biggest thing you just want to make sure is you have a couple of seals here. You just got to pay attention to the orientation. Um, not a big deal. Just take pictures as you go along just to make sure. Um, but as you, as you see, the bucket uh, filled up. I guess that's, uh, I don't know, two, two, three gallons. And that's how much was in the cylinder. So you definitely, when you do this, you're going to have to... Uh, <laughs> have some kind of container you make a big mess can you imagine that being all over the floor but anyway we're going to continue on with the disassembly um, we'll see what we get into <laughs> made a 
made a mess, but we got lucky. So you can see the seals. You can really see this one. You can see the starting to fold up on itself. It's got some wear, or I don't know. It looks like deterioration. And this is just a little soft pad that kind of helps guide it. Uh, let's see if we can get up in here and I don't know how well we get a light. You see all that junk in the cylinder? I don't know how good. Way down in there. So this thing, I don't see any scoring. Just looks like deterioration of the seals. So one thing you need to make sure, this piece goes on first. This is your uh, retainer. This is your seal. And you can see how, you can see how here it, it's got a lip on it. Well, you can imagine this goes on this way. And as the pressure, as the pressure goes down, that seal is what? between the pressure and the contact area and inside of the, the cylinder, that's what seals up the hydraulic fluid. But as you take this apart, be mindful. These two jam nuts here, those jam nuts go on here. Also, that's what's lifting the car. So you don't want to bugger the threads up. You don't want to mess them up at all. So take your time, clean off the junk, use a wire brush, anything. To clean it off and make sure it runs off without gouging or uh, tearing up the threads. So, uh, yeah, just remember that's lifting your car. And until you got it locked out, that's one of your uh, points of uh, lifting. I mean, it's that's all you get, which is probably more than enough, but it has been, but just don't mess them up. Uh, let's get this all. Uh, Rest of the way taken apart, get it cleaned up, and start assembly. Alright guys, here we go. I didn't film any of the cleaning up process because it's just, you know, you're cleaning. Um, biggest major issues, you want to, you know, make sure that your threads are clean. Go ahead and clean your nuts up, make sure those are good. <laughs> and uh, you can go ahead and repack the cylinders put new seals in and all that stuff um, that was kind of a pain that's kind of why I didn't film it, it wasn't uh, very difficult and this is just a guide this one here it's like Teflon and this here is a uh, I guess you call it a wiper it's like uh, you got to coat it in oil and then you put it on and it just wipes the cylinder down and what it ends up doing is it, it allows, keeps junk from getting on this seal uh, so anyway, um, we'll go out here and take a look at the uh, the actual cylinder itself. We just got through cleaning it up. And this is something you want to really look at really good. Make sure you're good and clean uh, because this, that seal, that blue seal, that last seal I sold you, that was... I don't know if you can see, it's kind of hard to get in there. But anyway, bottom line is you want to clean that up. And so what I ended up doing was uh, I used mineral spirits. I've got a little suction kind of spray thing and you just get your mineral spirits, clean it out really good. When you get it good, good and clean, then get some brake clean. And uh, look at that, woo! Anyway, um, we're going to start assembling this thing and wish me luck. Hope it'll go good. I could almost.
one thing I'd say about this, um, it was $100 for the seal kit. Um, yeah, I bought a cylinder. Somebody gave me some wrong information. It was the wrong cylinder, so I got aggravated. So I bought a seal kit, hoping that there wasn't anything wrong with the parts, the internal parts. Um, everything's good, so we're uh, cleaned up, ready to go back together. Uh, you're a guy out there with one of these lifts. It's $100, give or take, for a seal kit. I got quoted anywhere from 250 to 350 to rebuild it. Uh, yeah, I'd almost had somebody else rebuild it, but yeah, sure enough, either way you decide to go with it, it beats a new cylinder. A new cylinder is about thousand dollars, give or take a hundred bucks. So anyway, uh, let's get to building. Yeah, it's called lube. A lot of lube. Now this is a felt, it's a wiper, what they yeah. basically call it. It's just a wiper. It keeps the cylinder, as this thing extends into the cylinder, it keeps any kind of junk out of the sealing surface of this seal. And that's what you're after, is to keep this as, without any more damage. Because that's holding the pressure. And this is just a guide. This, this doesn't do anything. It's just a little Teflon guide. I need to wipe my hands off. Got junk all over. So hopefully, if everything goes well here, we can uh, lift your end up just a little bit, Rich. All right. Slide her in. Hold up. Back up just a little bit. Yeah, I would have never done this by myself. All right. To the left a little bit. There you go. Come on in. There we go. Left just a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. And then we'll line this up with the hole. Uh, just lift up just a skosh. Get my little crappy little tool I made. Now, come on. Yeah, next time I'll hire this guy. There we go. Perfect. So now we need to come back out just a little bit. Perfect. That's it, bro. So you you put the the tit in the hole in and the then hole. drag it through. And drag it through. That makes sense. I've never, like I said, they, most of the ones on the other side. Most of the ones I've ever done. There you go. That's it. That. Perfect. And then it'll sit itself in that groove, and you're totally anchored in. Yeah. You like my little tune? I do. <laughs> Trying to figure out what that came from. It's a mount for a um, a winch on an ATV. Oh, okay. Just a like standard mount. Yeah. So when I pulled yeah. this apart, I got lucky. Um, do me a favor, Rich. Yep. Yeah. We're good here. You don't have to. Okay. Um, I mean if. I wonder if that's normal. Um, can you take this and just, as I put tension on it, and see if we can pull it around? Okay. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Just a little bit more. There you go. Yep. Perfect. And now it's anchored in. Yeah, it's anchored in. Good to go. So that's what locks that part of the piston and from moving back and forth and this will pressurize because this shaft will just slide in and out of that. Right. Yeah, most of them, like I said, are threaded in. Yeah. But I've never seen one like this. But yeah. That's pretty easy. Yeah, that's not too bad. So, Once I figured it out. So yeah, we're, we're pretty much ready to go in. Yeah. Just, just make sure lube is your friend. Yeah. That's all you need. I don't know exactly where. That's in the general lineup. That's yep. it. It okay. is built. Cool. That is heavy. Yeah. Just a little bit. You got most of the weight, dude. Yeah. Go back. Yeah.
Yeah, at least you have that carrier, which makes it a little easier for you. That's it. Ooh, that goes. And that's on the uh, port side, so we're good there. We're in. Cool. Yeah, so this. That's pretty easy. I mean, it wasn't that bad. There we go. So that takes care of that. Yep. Grab that cable right there and okay. just hold it taut toward me. There you go. There's that. You release. We're good. It got a little retainer. I tried to uh, pull this one and it didn't want to come. Uh -huh. So I just did this one. Sure. Either one. Doesn't matter. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my favorite right there. <laughs> Nothing I like more than fluids running down my... my arm. So... So, oh, sweet. I'm some stout cable on there, right? Yeah. There's that. Hopefully that'll stay. And then there's another washer. There you go. All right, you can release it now. And so theoretically, do that just a little bit, put a little more tension on it. Yep. Theoretically, we're back in business. Thing done. Uh, it's back together. Rich and his boy came over and helped me put it up. Um, anyway, so we're going to start pulling all the cables taut, uh, making sure they go back in the groove and stuff. Uh, I've already flushed the system out, putting all new fluid in. So uh, let's just see how it goes. So uh, we'll just start uh, hitting the button a little by little and pull, pulling the tension. I don't know how this is going to work because I, when I first put this together, it was uh, on the ground. So it's been a while. We'll just see what happens. I'll probably put it together wrong and nothing's going to happen. We'll see. But it's a pretty good sized cylinder, so it'll take a little bit of time for it to fill up. Oop, there we go. It's starting to pull. Take the fluid levels, check to see where we're at. Still plenty good. Keep going. 
Now there's still air in the system, so it might take a second. It's going to be a self bleed, kind of like a clutch on a Coyote Mustang. So let's stop right there and let's take a look and make sure all the cables are going into position. That was good. That was good. We'll get there. This one's starting to come around. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good. Everything looks good. Let's put a little more tension on it. Things looking a lot better. Back. Keep pulling tension. All right, so the cables are starting to pull. Like I said, there's a lot of air in the system, so it, you just want to make sure everything's good. See, we're starting. So let's take a look at it. Let's come in here and take a look at things. I'll put a little light on the subject. So you can start seeing, run it down through there. So you can start seeing the cables are pulling tight. They're pulling straight like they should be. You're good. Um, like I said, everything. Go back through, double check. I got a little loose connection right here. No big deal. So I say you always try to put everything together, make sure you're tight so you don't have any surprises later. But everything looks good. So we're going to keep pulling a little more tension. All right, so you see your cars going up. Fluid levels, yep, that looks pretty close. So what you want to do now is make sure everything's out of the way. Yes, it's still locked. I'm not going to be in hurt. We're all good. We just want to cycle it one time. Make sure everything's good to go. Working like it's supposed to. So that's air coming out. Gurgling. That's good. That's what you want. So, so now, now that we have it all the way down, we have a fill level to come to. It's about right here. So we need to top it off. Everything will uh, be good to go. We'll be back with you in a second. So we purged it. Uh, all the air out of, out of the system, topped it off. Yeah. Follow your manufacturer specifications. We just want to bust it back through to make sure everything's good to go. Everything will be fine. Clean up, job done. Um, again, I said something earlier in the video. It's $100 for a seal kit. Could have had a problem with the cylinder having a wear mark or something. In it. When they're sealed up. Uh, yeah, so the best thing I tell you if you ever buy a storage lift or a two post lift, any kind of lift, find out what cylinder you have. 
write that part number down somewhere with say along with a seal kit part number two. Had some issues with this one. Been a couple of months going trying to get it done. But uh, as you see, we're all fixed. No more leaks. Cars going up in the air, no problem. And uh, so anyway. Now we get to work on this car, now we can get it off the lift, so we'll see you soon. Y'all take care.